Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Mole Astrology channel. Now today's video is about the concept of Manglik. So whatever I know about the concept of Manglik, I'm going to put it out here in a very systematic way. Earlier I have made a video of Manglik, but still I was uh, I was receiving emails from people uh, about what is Manglik? I am a Manglik. Should I marry another Manglik? Still, people are very confused about this concept. Let's just have a discussion about this topic. First of all, what is Manglik? Whenever the seventh house of a natal chart is affected by the planet Mars, it is known as Manglik. Now, why the seventh house? Seventh house is the house of marriage and the house of spouse. So whenever Mars by its placement or by its aspect affects the seventh house that is known as Maglik. Now the houses. Mars can affect the seventh house if it is in the first house, in the fourth house, in the seventh house itself, in the eighth house and in the 12th house and to some extent it is also known as Manglik if a person has Mars in the second house okay so what effect does Mars has here Mars is a planet of energy it is the combination of the first house and the eighth house because these are the two signs and houses which are naturally ruled by Mars. So the combined energy of the first house and the eighth house comes onto the seventh house which is the house of marriage. So what happens here when you put a soldier, Mars is a soldier, Mars is a commander, he's a person who goes out and fights, protects. So when you put this planet in the house of marriage, what results can you expect? There can be two types of results. One positive, another negative. The positive one will be that such a person becomes a protector. Such a person is very passionate. The energy of such a person and the brain, since the Aries sign, the Mooltricone sign of Mars is the brain. Aries is denoted by the brain. The first house is denoted by the brain and the personality. So that comes onto the seventh house. So most of your energy goes towards the seventh house. You become very much involved within the matters of marriage. Your mind and your brain, your energy, everything thing is into the marriage. A person becomes passionate. A person becomes a provider towards the other people, towards the spouse. This is a person who will stand for you, who will take the necessary steps for your benefit. But then there are some consequences as well there are some negative effects as well. So what those negative effects would be? So when Mars, a soldier, is in the seventh house or affects the seventh house, this person never wants to bow down in an argument. This person will do anything and everything in their power so as to dominate their spouse and so as to win any argument that happens within the marriage. Mars is also the karka of fights. So fights and arguments are usual in the marriage for such a person. Now Mars is an independent energy. So marriage for a Manglic individual is more of a independent mechanism then a union ship. So always you'll see if a person is married to a Manglik individual or the person himself or herself is a Manglik, these people are very independent. Both of the partners in the marriage are very individualistic. 
another thing that this mars does is mars is the karka of discipline as well now you'll say that the karka for discipline is saturn but more than saturn the energies of mars are the one responsible for creating discipline in a person saturn is more about organization and mars is more about discipline so you'll see the people who are into military who are into who are officers who are uh, uh, you know a person with an exalted mars these people are very disciplined they have a perfect routine so along with saturn saturn is about organization saturn is about being organized about something but to add to it you need mars to create that perfect discipline you'll see the army people they have divided their times like they are going to the walk every day they are eating good food they are doing everything on time they are very punctual people so this is what mars does so because of this discipline attitude whenever something goes off or whenever something is disbalanced within the marriage this person loses it and becomes agitated which becomes a reason for the fights and the arguments so the second result is that now another thing that mars does is mars is a planet that throws challenges towards you so you'll see a person who is a martian personality or a person who has strong mars or a manglic person would always challenge you now if this mars is connected with venus you'll always see people with venus and mars conjunction they always want to want to challenge the other person in love they'll always bringing up something to create that passion to create that challenging situation if mars is connected with moon and it is connected with 7th house somehow this person will bring in emotional challenges for the other person so if you want to marry a manglik or if you have already married a manglik you will see that these people love to create challenges for the other people okay now arises a very very important and most frequently asked question should a manglik person marry a non manglik person or is it necessary for two manglik people to get married or does this happen if one manglik marries another non manglik person then will it be a very disoriented marriage or will it be uh, there will be death of another person or anything like that now my answer to this question will be that that's perfectly your choice because you know what happens is you need to see few factors before coming to a conclusion with this manglik concept for some people who consider themselves for being non manglik there are chances that they are either their moon or their venus or their 7th house lord is connected to the planet mars so what happens is whenever moon or venus or the 7th lord has the conjunction with mars it is going to effect the directly opposite house which is also the house of spouse like seventh from moon will show you traits of spouse seventh from venus will show you traits of your spouse so what if mars is connected with those planets it gives you similar effects you are no less than a manglik person and the another condition will be what if your mars is connected with the first or seventh house of navamsha it is still going to give that effects so that in a way makes you a person who is close to manglik or manglik so in most of the cases i have seen if a couple comes to me one is manglik and another is manglik and some priest or astrologer has told them that they can't 
marry each other most of the cases it happens that one person is significantly manglic because of the house placement but another person's either moon or venus or the seventh house or the navamsha is somehow influenced with mars so the marriage can happen definitely it can happen and the third condition would be that your ascendant is influenced by mars or you have a strong ascendant or strong ascendant lord that makes you a very strong person who can actually deal with the mangalic person okay so these three conditions are to be seen the fourth and the last one will be that it's your own choice if you think you can manage to be with such a person or you can accept the person with all the positives and all the negative effects that mars or manglic concept brings in you're good to go so i guess this was a simple definition of mars and how it reacts i hope most of your questions are clear because of this video i hope it was helpful um, if you guys would like to have your personal readings from me you can check out the link below www.unmoleastrology.com and under the consultation section you can book a personal reading for yourself i also have unique readings uh, for people who are seekers of astrology and who want who already have knowledge about astrology and want to explore more into astrology they can go under the unique reading section under this link only www.unmoleastrology.com and you can opt for any of the uh, unique readings that you love to have if you want to know about more content on astrology you can go and check out my instagram profile the link for which is given below Okay guys so we'll meet you next time with a new video bye bye take care